A giant wooden egg has landed in Milton Keynes. Uh, the Expo Egg is a free exhibition called Everything Comes from the Egg. It's all part of the uh, MK50 birthday celebrations happening this year. Now, Sophie Saleri is with the artist Stephen Turner now. Good morning to you, my love. Good morning to you, my love. Yes, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. Yeah. I'm very excited, mm. excited, oh, because um, I'm about to go and see a giant wooden egg. I'm currently parked near to the very place where the egg is. Yes. It's uh, Great Linford, just by the canal. Um, we can't get any closer to the egg itself in the car because it's parked on the canal. The egg, not the car, that is. So I'll have to walk down the towpath to get to it. But before I go down there, I'm going to speak to the artist, uh, as you said, Mr. Stephen Turner. Stephen, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's nice to be with you, Sophie. So you created the Exbury egg as part of your exhibition, Everything Comes From the Egg. Firstly, why is it called the Exbury egg? Well, it's called the Exbury egg because it was born in Exbury in Hampshire. And that's where it lived the first year of its life, floating on the Bewley River. Um, and uh, it's, it's certainly it's my work, but it's very much a team effort in, in creating it. I can't build boats. And so we had a wonderful guy called Paul Baker to do the actual building. And the detailed drawings were made by an architect called Wendy Perring. So it's a real collaboration to get my vision from my head through my initial drawings into this physical six metre long wooden egg. Why a, why a large wooden egg, Stephen? Um, well, I was thinking about the way we connect to nature. All my artwork is about the connections we, we have with the living world around us. And when I was asked whether what kind of home I'd like to live in that symbolised all of this, I couldn't think of anything better than egg because everything living comes from an egg or if it's a plant from a seed, but in terms of evolution, eggs and seeds kind of evolve from the same kind of beginning. And so all life starts there, and it's about connection. And it was great waking up every morning inside this sim symbol for life and new beginning and nurture, and even for fragility, because we, we, we have big, uh, heavy feet as we trample the planet, and uh, the egg was an exercise in, in sort of treading lightly on the land. So you lived on this egg in a nature reserve without any heat, really, except from the sun. Um, I, I'm sorry. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Um, describe this egg to me. I mean, I'm going to see it in a second, but how big is it? Yeah, it is six metres long and it's got a diameter at its widest of three and a half metres. It's made of western red cedar wood, uh, it's wooden strips um, uh, in a sort of cross ply. Um, it's got its own shower, uh, it's got its work area and a bed and a kitchen area. So it's, it's very compact, uh, but it's bigger th inside than you'd think. There's lots of headroom and more width than in a boat. Uh, so as a, as a design, it works really well, except it's got what are called compound curves. So it curves in both directions at once. So even putting up a shelf becomes quite a tricky carpentry job. I can imagine. And it's all part of the Milton Keynes birthday celebrations, MK50, which is happening this year. What has an egg got to do with Milton Keynes? Oh, there you go. Um, I suppose as part of this, this celebration, I mean, I know Milton Keynes and Stantonbury uh, Parish Council, actually, who I'm working with as well right here, wanted the egg because it was a really unusual home. And it was an innovative home. And we're in a part of Milton Keynes with a huge new housing development and there are 500 new homes in, in Stanton Low Park just away just a short distance from the egg and in a way that's the community of visitors who are coming to take a look at it and and we can talk about what what kind of place this is and what uh, what the culture of the place is and how it's evolving and what it was in the past and what it might become in the future and those things are, are kind of part of my work. Well, the egg is going to be with us for a few weeks in Milton Keynes. How long? It's here till May the 14th. We are doing a move during the last week from this location to Great Linford, opposite the Milton Keynes Arts Centre, where there'll be a, a bigger exhibition of some of my egg artwork. So people can come and see the exhibition? They can come and see this exhibition ev from every week, from Wednesday uh, through to Sunday, from noon until 6pm here at Stanton Low Park, uh, I think aim for the Black Horse Pub. 
but uh, yeah and then after you've seen the egg you can have a drink but until then i'm actually going to go down and have a little look at it myself andy i want to see where the man himself slept ate and indeed lived on this giant wooden egg yeah, I should look forward to hearing that. I mean, could this mean we, we, we could all be living in eggs? Could it, I mean, could... I don't know if everyone has to live in an egg just because Stephen did. Mm, well, could, mm, could, uh, they that, could be just that, that is just one man. Eggs all over Milton Keynes. Yeah. Uh, the Expert Egg is a free exhibition, exhibition, exhibition uh, called Everything Comes from the Egg. It's all part of the MK50 birthday celebrations happening this year. Now, our reporter, Sophie Slimmer, has been in the egg this morning. So, Stephen, we've just arrived at your 20-foot egg. We have, yeah. It looks stunning here, by the way, on the Grand oh, Union thank this you. morning. It was fabulous as the sun came up at dawn, shrouded in mist with the sun burning through and you know, silhouetting this gorgeous oval shape. Absolutely. Do you mind if I have a little look inside? Of course, let's go and have a look. I'll have to unlock the door. OK. Excellent. Start the boarding plank. Right. I'm about to board the egg. Let's do this. Thank you. She does rock around a little, so be careful. OK. OK. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. It really does rock. Yeah. Um, fortunately, I, I quite like being on boats and don't tend to get seasick. But when she's afloat, there is a nice roll. But very good for sleeping when I'm, when I'm in bed at night and uh, you kind of got the tide has come in and you're rolling around, it kind of rocks you off. I'm really quite stunned, to be honest, to imagine that you lived on this because while we said it's 20 foot, and to be honest, it is quite high, you've got a nice sunroof there to let the light in, yeah. but your bed is in the tiniest part of the egg, so yes. you're kind of, si it's a bit lopsided, and <laughs> you're rocking with the uh, movement of the shape. I mean... It, it... Well, I started off with a hammock stretched out across the middle, and I lasted about two nights in that, because I'm frankly too old and woke up with backache, bent double. And so the bed across the stern of the egg there, raised upon a wooden platform that I made, is actually five-inch thick memory foam. So it's actually really comfortable and uh, it's easy to sleep on. And when you said earlier that this was an exhibition, Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of expecting to come in and find your artwork strewn all over the egg, but actually there's very little in the way of conventional art. You've got a couple of um, uh, paintings of, um, well, is that a fish on a cereal box? It's a fish on a cereal box, yes. And a, and a, and a, a, a beetle, a ladybird. And another cereal box. And is that a bag of eggshells? Yes. I hatched them from an incubator here in the egg, so we had chickens hatch. So when you say it's an exhibition, mm -hmm. do you mean it in quite a broad sense? Yeah, the, the egg itself is an artwork and it's a record of all the things I found, I made, was curious about whilst living here. And so it's, it's, it's a collection of stories, really, that are triggered by looking at all the different objects. So even the furniture is furniture I made by recycling and reusing waste material. Uh, the chair was made from an old wooden pallet that was floating past the egg, and I took all the nails out and made it into a chair. And what's in here? Uh, this, this is the, uh, the shower room, um. and it was the loo, uh, but we, as I'm not living in here, we've taken out the portable toilet. OK. But you're standing on the shower, if, I, if you stand just oh, to one sorry side. About that. I can raise the tray, and we have... Um, the, yeah. the shower tray is there, and we have to cover it over because we sometimes need the space for walking and for storing things. Stephen, don't take this personally when I say this, but I was surprised to hear earlier on that you were married. You are married, <laughs> yes. aren't you? And I'm not surprised because no-one would have wanted to be with lovely you. <laughs> I'm more surprised that she's an egg widow because <laughs> she doesn't see you. You live on an egg or on a boat next to your egg. Yeah, I guess that's been a pattern that's recurred over the years, but I assure you are quite happy. I mean, well, I'm pleased to hear it, of course. and <laughs> I'm sure she loves coming to visit you and your egg. And to not take it to a dark place, but how do you see the, end, the egg end in its life? We've often talked about what will happen at the end. Uh, and one thought was, when we very began the project, that she should... I mean, she's been my home now for quite a while, that 
if she's left as a hulk to rot back down to rot back, rot away in the in the in the water that she become home to lots of other creatures and that might be one hen there should be one hulk amongst many on a on a derelict deserted foreshore somewhere on a on a on an estuary um or she might be in a nice museum somewhere where people come and visit and say gosh you know 800 years ago look this man lived on an egg if you get a chance go and check it out i've seen i've seen the pictures it looks amazing